Welcome to episode 6 of Climate Crash Course. We're glad you stuck with us, so let's dive into today's topic of energy. Today we'll be differentiating renewable and non-renewable energy, different types of energy, and why renewable energy might not be just as environmentally friendly as you would have thought. So, let's start off by differentiating renewable and non-renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy collected from a source that will replenish in a human lifetime. Non-renewable energy is energy that will not replenish in a human lifetime. Let's go over some of the most common examples of renewable energy. You've probably seen solar panels in the desert across large masses of land. Though there are many plus sides to solar panels such as environmental and health benefits, there are some downsides as well. For example, it takes up a lot of space. Additionally, it could create toxic waste after it was used. It would also take energy, most likely non-renewable energy, to make these solar panels. Along hillsides or in the ocean, you can find giant wind turbines that generate renewable energy. These wind turbines also take lots of energy to make. Okay, now we're going to move on to hydroelectric energy. This is energy from the flowing of rivers and other movements of water. This picture here is a picture of a dam that helps create hydroelectric energy. Tidal energy is similar to hydroelectric energy in that it takes energy from the movement of water, but tidal energy takes the motion of ocean waves. Now we're going to talk about geothermal energy. Geothermal energy comes from heat trapped underground. For example, in Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming, there are lots of geysers which can produce geothermal energy. Renewable energy has many pros including health and environmental benefits. It also has it is also unlimited and cheaper. However, it generally takes up more space. Moving on to non-renewable energy. Some examples of non-renewable energy are oil, coal, and natural gas. These are all fossil fuels that are limited and will eventually run out. They are cheap and abundant and fast to produce. However, they are bad for your health and the environment, and it will run out and cause pollution. That's it for today's climate crash course. Thanks for watching and I hope you, this encourages you to take action against the climate crisis. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ClimateCU or visit our website climatechangeyouth.wordpress.com. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video.